Um, it feels great to have folks like Pharrell, Swiss, like Questlove, Q-Tip, all those guys, you know, so, guys that I looked up to, you know, so for them to come out and you know, show some love and say they respect what I'm doing, it's kind of major, like, you know, and that when it's happening, there's not really that time to be like, yo, you know. Um, so uh, when I'm sitting back in the hotel, I kind of reflect in my day, like, it's pretty good, especially, you know, it's inspiring too, you know, it's been working. I've been working for a long time doing this, so to have that, uh, you know, have that respect, is, it's a good thing. Comparisons to Jimi Hendrix are always overwhelming because I don't think there will ever be another Jimi Hendrix. Um, you've got to kind of just outside the box, you know, as far as the black uh, rock artist. Ahead of his time, songwriting is beautiful. I mean, everyone that I roll around with plays guitar. It's like, it's a major influence. So, um, I don't know, it's cool to to have people say my name along with it, but it's, you know, I can't think about it too much. Ain't got no money, ain't got no car, ain't got no excuses, baby. I'm hanging out the bar. I don't know you a thing, baby. I don't know you a thing. I don't know you a thing now, baby. I don't know you a thing. I don't know, I've been more open with it recently, but, uh, I love to do all the Michael Jackson dance moves whenever the records come on. I used to just kind of keep it to myself and my folks, but I'll bust it now again. No shame, I'm ready. They might see it tonight, we'll see. <laughs> hey, this is Gary Clark Jr. and you're checking me out at Global Grind.